What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back to Shenanigans in Yarnum. A new fun filled series where we go to Yarnum and do the craziest pranks that you wouldn't believe. Now, I remember this area being really shitty and like all of these things coming alive, so let me just uh, do this. I think, uh, that's most of them. Uh, isn't there a... No? No hidden thing? Okay. Um, let me see... Stop that! I know one of these pathways leads to, like, loot. I don't remember which, but one of them does. I'm sure of it. Unless it was just that one piece in the middle of the pile. This, no, actually, yeah, no, I have to go this way. So then I gotta go, and there's another stair that I take up, like, right around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yeah, like right here. Yeah, this thing. Here we go. That was very rude of you. I do think even when I use the uh, Blades of Mercy, I'll probably still keep the whip around just for the AoE potential of the whip. From what I understand, the Blades of Mercy are going to be a fantastic go-to, but... Uh, come here, Piggy Piggy. Come on. If there's one thing I've never forgotten about Bloodborne... It's Fist and Damn Pigs! Yep, that's right. You never forget your time right down down there on there that there farm. First time you put your whole fist up a pig's ass makes you feel like a newborn man. I tell you what. And I actually think the pig way is better. But let me activate this. Alright, that's by the dudes. Then I think I can go the pig route to pop in behind these assholes that are up ahead. Old blood. I gotta turn that off. Why did I not turn that off? Can I turn on controls? Environment. I really wish I could just disable that. Ooh, Saw Hunter badge. And it just goes up. And that. Beware fall. 
This way. Yes, there we go. Yep, there, that's the bridge. So just coming up behind. And that's why it's always worth killing the pig. Cause you see, I got the blood vials, I got the echoes from him. All these guys died. Fucking easy. I mean, I could have just as easily run and then hidden one of these, but coming from the other angle, it like causes them to mess up. So the the guy like burned himself to death, basically. I remember to use my insight. Right, that's probably the biggest mistake. Biggest mistake you can make initially in the game is have too much insight, and then you get to like the areas where frenzy is like a serious concern, and you're like, wait, what do I do here? This shit's hitting you so freaking hard. Come here! Is that? I wish you could have that for a weapon. That thing is huge. Hunter's marks. Getting stacked up on blood vials. We've now reached cap, which is good to see. Um. And this is Germain. You know what? I think I'm gonna go back. Like, could I fight Germain right now? Yes. But I got 6,600 echoes. Um, you know, I got the shortcut. Like, I feel, honestly, it just feels stupid to go after Germain without first spending my echoes. So let's go do that. Go right here. I never talked to the little girl as well. Um, I don't remember what the path. Uh, it's back. Back near where I fucked up with Eileen. It's like you go. Ah, oh, there was a ladder. It was a ladder that I missed. Well, let me do that before... Oh. Let me do that before I go back. Because I remember you can do something with it in the fight. I'm trying to remember, like, everything. But I know um, when you're, like, in the fight, like, when he first enters beast mode or whatever, you can um, use it as, like, an item. And it, like, makes him like, remember his humanity for a split second. And then you, you know, promptly beat his ass. But it's, uh, there's, like, a part of a, it's a gimmick in the, the Germain boss fight. That ladder over there. That's I missed. And by the way, this isn't supposed to be like a hundred percent playthrough or anything. Um, you no, know, it's just it's been a while since I played, and I'm having fun being thorough and like you know, going through and being like, oh wait, I missed that, or oh yeah, let me do this. So, by no means do I feel obligated to do everything. It's just you know, as long as I am, as long as I'm having fun, I'll keep doing it. Hit? Yeah, how did I miss this ladder before? No, wait, did I take this ladder? I think I did take this ladder up and then I went down instead, or I took the other ladder up or something. I did something. Uh, let me get stuff over the. That's right, I can spend that stuff for, uh, for, uh, updated look. Scratch 
to the throne of heaven. Peekaboo. Also, remember, this is one of the first gems you can get. So you can just crush it. Madam, I will hunt me. It's for an account that you never came back from the hunt. I'm all in love. Really? My, my, it's so... Oh, if you find my... It plays one of Daddy's favorite songs. Mom's so silly. Um... This? Can I open this? Alright, fastest way back from here would be this way. So... Wait, no, where's the... The hell is that damn turn at? Here. Yes. And up. Down through. There we go. Out of my way. I want to say it's you use it during his beast mode and it it uh like stuns him. It basically gives you like a free opportunity for a backstab or something like that. First thing we're going to do though is upgrade our weapon. And I'm going to take a look at the the saw spear. So this is a DD, so it's more quality based. Um no, you know what? I've never really worked with the cane, so I'll, I'll focus the cane. Yeah, baby. There we go. Welcome home, good hunt. What is it you desire? Very well. Obviously, I want to channel these close. echoes. Idi. Now shut your eyes. All right, let's get that up, and then I'm going to focus up a little bit more still. There we go. Farewell, good hunter. All right, and we are ready to go. Maybe I need to get past uh, Germain before he'll open up. Mmm, it's looking good. Kane is already starting to whoop some ass. Guys, guys! Ooh. 
Alright, that's good. Alright, so let me take off the pebbles. Never gonna the pebbles. I wanna I'm gonna music box his ass and then I'm gonna oil earn it and then malt off him. About to be the wombo combo of the century. This is either going to poop all over Germain or um or not. You know, basically either he's going to get annihilated by this. I'm surprised how many of you just survived that. them at all. Alright, now I think you can use it in both, but I want to say it's more like a, a beast version thing, so I will try and wait for him to enter beast mode before I use it. Father Guac! Papa Guac! Ow, Papa Guac, your shotgun hurts. Yo, come on, yo, 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 Papa Guac, stop. Papa Guac, stop, I ain't cool. That's a bad pop of guac. What's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me it's enough to make a man sick. Remember your child, heathen! Remember the child you left! Thank you for the tomb key! He's only worth 3200? Wow. Kinda disappointing. And there's no point staying here. And we got the tomb up in just a second. You know what? I think, uh... I want to say I have more trouble killing Cleric Beast than I did pooping on Papa Guac. You know what's fucked up? That's, uh, that's Mama right there. Papa Guac ate his wife. A little girl. You no, know, she don't even know. She's just there forever. 
wondering where mommy and daddy are. Little does she know her father became a monster and her mother was killed and... Fucking feels bad, dude! But once I get the Oed in here, I'll, um, I'll go back and get tell the little girl. Be like, hey, you can come here and hang out. And uh, I gotta get the other lady who's looking for a safe place and get them NPCs. Very ornate chests. Now that we got the Cathedral Ward, um, mm -hmm. yeah, let's do this. Uh, we are going to level up brooch, and then I'm trying to remember if you can use the brooch for anything else. Welcome home. What there is, is a quest. Desire? Um, let me see here. Very well, let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Keep getting that skill up. Alright, let me a second. I want to look at this. So, let's see. Alright, return to her after Papa Guac. Choose whether to give her the brooch or withhold it. Um, if you give her the brooch to her, she will no longer talk to you. Eventually, she'll leave her home. Feeding the pig in the sewers will yield a red messenger ribbon. Means the pig eats her. That's sad. Um, what is the other option for that quest? A lot of the Bloodborne quests are really obscure. Let's see, walk away from her window and past the gate. Trigger dialogue of the sister talking to herself. Reload the area and go down. The ladder from the window to find a white messenger ribbon. So the sister dies. Um, what is this? If you have visited Isofka after defeating Papa Guac and told about it being a safe haven, you can direct her to the clinic. Next time you visit the clinic, you get a lead elixir, but the red ribbon won't appear on the pig in the sewers, which also prevents you from getting the white ribbon. If you now enter the clinic's back door from the Forbidden Woods, the young girl can be found inside, transformed into a celestial being. She's the one walking back and forth in the main hallway near the room with the cane her summons. If you kill her, she will drop the formless Oaden room. You may also opt to never interact with her again any time after receiving the music box. Um, and she will eventually disappear from the window on her own, causing a similar premature ending as sending her to the clinic, but with no rewards. Wow. Wow. That is, uh... Messed up. This formless thing. Fire quick several bullet max, so oh, I don't give a shit about that. Farewell, good hunter. Alright, um, I don't know what to do then. I guess I could go let me go get the one lady and tell her about uh the chapel, which actually I don't know if I have visited the chapel. I mean I warped away from it, but I think I need to like talk to the dude at the chapel first. Maybe. I don't know. Let's just, let's just, uh... You know what, let's go to Isofka's clinic. Let's go do that, because that's close. If I remember how to get there. I know there's the back entrance. But I want to go and, uh... Be like, yeah, waifu, I did stuff. Do you like me now? Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Up this sickness, these this time, I'll even off well. If you, you can, please. Alright. Let's do that. Because I know she actually drops, like, rewards and shit for me. Sending people to the clinic because she wants to use them in weird experiments, but I'm all about rewards. Like when you think about it, I mean the the actual lore in Bloodborne is all 
kinds of just like what the fuck like not even like what the fuck I mean like what the fuck like like, it's so mind-boggling how weird shit gets going in this game. Like, especially with the one ending, where you're you're literally reborn as a celestial being, little baby slug man. Like, just weird, weird shit. You could tell Miyazaki was on them fucking good shiitake mushrooms. He's getting his, uh, mixing that shit with some LSD when he came up with this game. Never use that again. It's just weird. It's just a weird ass game, you know? Is it just me? Or does it sound like that guy just whispered chocolate? Chocolate. Bad dog. Now, I'm trying to remember, um, I want to tell her about the clinic or the other place. Because I know, I think this is the old lady who offers you stuff. Um, I know there's, well... Uh, I'm trying to think here. Because if we have, there's there's the clinic, and I think each time you send somebody to the clinic, you like get a new reward. Um, but other than that, I think you can. I know you can send people to the other place, but that's not showing up. So just oh, just you. send her there. I'm outside of work for liquor. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you ever go split some throat? Yeah, it's clean. You can come this way. Alright, well, let me go back to Isofka now. I think if I, like, reload, Isofka will be like, Oh, good hunter. Thank you for that. And then, uh... Oh, that's right, I gotta go get uh, Papa Guac's daughter sent her over too. Echoes, blood vials, blood visceral. And always use quicksilver bullets. remember how to oh, hang on. Let me get over there oh you know what that's the sewer from earlier oh, all right we're gonna go do that real fast we're gonna go we're gonna go do that I'll talk to the little girl I'll go do that and then I'll use a uh, bold hunters mark to warp on out of here which will work out well because we are just about at that 30 minute mark now That'll ensure I got all the goodies that I want without missing, without missing stuff. Let's 
send her to Isofka. Love strangers, kid. That was almost fucking real bad. It's a good thing I came back. Been, uh, been irritating coming here and not getting the stuff. No! turned into a massive shit show. I think they were all guarding something. I don't remember what, but... Got a new outfit and blood vials. Yay. Alright, and then, uh. Um, how far from here? Yeah, oh. Alright, uh, so we're gonna wrap things up here. Uh, obviously, we will be kicking off the next episode. Uh, from the chapel, and there's a couple different places that we can choose to go, but I'd say we're making uh, pretty good progress, you know? Three episodes in, and uh, we are whooping ass. So, anyway, make sure to stay tuned. We will catch you guys with more Bloodborne later today.